Hello guys, welcome back. Today we'll be seeing how we can embed Superset dashboard into a website. For this tutorial, we will be seeing how we can embed in public website without any authentication. So we will have a user that will have like public access and then without so anonymously anyone can see it. So if you want to create a public report that anyone can see, then definitely this is true. This tutorial is for you. If not, you want authentication one. Next video is coming on that one. So let's start. For example, let's take this report that we already have, and uh, let me just quickly publish it. This is currently tab uh, draft. So now I have published it. Okay. In order to do that, again I have created a repository. You can see there are a few comments. So the first step will be, we need to create a public role like gamma. So these two commands are just same. Public role like gamma is equal to true. What this is going to do is. it will go into create a public role and it will copy gamma's permission into this role surprisingly for me it is not working but let's go ahead and try it one more time if it works okay let's go to cd/app/superset then nano superset config.py and let me add it somewhere here in between so i'll just paste it here super set public role like gamma i'm going to save it and close it and let's reboot our super set server our super set service and let me quickly check if it is proper or active status is running great now let me go to here we don't have public you might have public role if it is there you can keep it as it is or uh, we will see later we are anyway we are going to delete it so for some of you this might work and if it works then definitely will let me know so now what i did you can see the public user is added here let me edit it this might take few minutes few moments yeah so again i'm going back to the roles list of roles our public role is here but surprisingly this is not having any permission so i i'm not sure if this should be the this should happen or what but for me it didn't work so what i'm going to do i'm going to delete this role so you can see the name as it is let me just copy it even if it is simple word let me copy it because capital and small i'm just going to select this gamma action and copy role okay now you can see the role is created gamma copy i'm going to edit it and i'm going to paste the name as public now you can see we have all the roles or permissions for the gamma role copied here i'm going to save it okay till this part what we did we created a public role with all the permission of gamma okay ideally by default when you do this i believe it should create it but if not then you can definitely do like and then uh, this is this is somewhere like this is the same thing where we are going to replace gamma with the custom role that you want so i have added note here also for me this role was not created without any so was created without any permission so i deleted this role and copied gamma role and renamed it as public okay so now for this dashboard we need to add permission in the public role even documentation also mentions same thing you can see the documentation is here it says even if explicitly grant on specific data set is still required so whatever data set that you are using to build this report explicitly permission to that data set should be given so for this report we are using this data model so or data set Uh, I am I, I named it as model, but it is data set. So let's go ahead and add it. So how we can add it? Again, I am going to roles. I am going to edit this public role. So for me, what is working? If I just type ID, you can see all the things that I have seen. So whatever we create, it will have some ID. So this is the data set that we have. This is the databases that we can see. This is the data source access on TC. tpc data set with id 1 so i am just going to click here and it should work 
okay now till this part what we did we created a public role we granted all the permission of gamma as well as the data set permission on that report okay so now ideally let's go to the dashboard and go here just three lines in front of edit dashboard let's wait for a few moment till it loads okay so entire dashboard is loaded and now you can see the share button is also enabled now let me copy this to clipboard and let's open incognito and let me paste it here as you can see this is working uh, it is loading and this will show your entire dashboard available publicly okay and if we go to home this is going it is not going to work so you can definitely go back so anything else will not work if you go to the report only that is going to work one more thing is like if you don't want these to be visible you can go ahead and get go into entire full screen mode okay let it be this is no error so i'm going to copy it and when you copy this link like full screen link you will see that it will not show anything else other than the report in here so all the top things and everything else will be hidden hopefully see now that home and everything is hidden and even i can access it here obviously this is again the same thing you can see there that is like key there are too many connection and so on so hopefully after a few moments this is going to get fixed let's go here and uh, all the steps are mentioned here that you can just type id and and so on and so forth now in order to embed this place what i'm going to use i'm going to use iframe i already copied this into html file you can see it here now in here you can just replace your url with this so let me save it i have given 90% height 90% width you can change it accordingly and let me open this thing in exp in finder revel in finder and if i open this in browser you can see this super set is started loading again this is probably so this might be confusing because we are already logged in and that's why it is allowing us so and so on but no if i again go to private and paste it here you can see this will start loading so you can see now this is loading again database issues you can ignore but uh, in few moments let's wait i'll wait and i'll continue from this part again i'll re re refresh this page okay so now you can see it started loading and now entirely loaded so this is how we can embed our superset report or dashboard into a website a uh, public website do not use this if you want to have secured or something like that so that's what uh, i have two more updates to give one is let me quickly close this thing and show you something so you can see i have created a form where you can submit suggestions like what you want to have like in next video or something like that and uh, that list will be available for me over here in this excel this excel is also shared with you and you can see what is upcoming and what is the status and so on so that it will be transparent for everyone like even for me and you uh, to follow through what is going on and if you want something that is on priority you can contact me i will definitely plan it accordingly and everything all the links to this and everything is available on our main github page of so redmi where you can see planned videos link so this will redirect you to that sheet and the suggestion form is available here i probably doubt that you will be able to edit this because uh, i'm not sure if we should allow everyone like full public access someone might might be so add something so better to have form probably same thing might happen with this but okay let's have some generalized syntax so that no one will be able to at least delete some other idea might might be by mistake or anything so that's it from mind for this video 
let's connect for some other video thanks for watching if you like do like share subscribe bye bye